evening guys okay we're gonna do part two of uh, submarine traps this one is going to be more like your your more common trap that you see on your colony submarine traps the ones with the little flip doors um, be a little bit different than your standard one I uh, just for, I know most of them you see are you know, in that six inch range, stuff like that. I don't, uh, well, I never ever make one that small. Although, if you need, uh, you know, if you need, if you do have them that small and you need to cover a bigger area, then it's pretty easy to put two six inch ones side by side, or two side by side, four on top. Then you can make pretty much whatever you want. Um, this one, however, is going to be 13 inches wide, 8 inches high. Um, it's more like the standard size that I make, and it's going to be a collapsible one. Like I said, all the ones that I make that are square are collapsible. The only ones that I make that aren't are the, the round ones, because obviously to collapse them, I'd have to jump on them. So, And then they're really hard to get straightened out again. But anywho, I'm... Uh, Start off. I've got. I'm not going to go through the whole cutting everything like with the one last night. It's all pretty much the same. So I've got the 36 inch mesh um, by one inch. Four pieces cut right now. The uh, bottom and top, 12 inches wide or 13 inches wide, eight inches high, like so. Okay. Now I'm going to put these together, and then I'm going to cut the other pieces, and I'll show you them and how they fit in there. All right. Well, uh, and like I said, we're putting them in together like the other one with the J clips. And when you when you put them together, make sure you you got your runners, the long ones, the length of it are on the inside just for easier J clipping. All right. Once we get that together, we'll show you and uh, and then I'll cut the other pieces and get them all going. Hey guys, here we've got the trap. Um, I know I was, said I was going to get all the pieces cut and show you them, but I decided instead I was just going to get the trap completely done. And you see it here. I'll uh, hold it up for you here. Okay, so this is the whole trap folds into that. Now, I said I was doing one a little different than the normal ones for this but when I was young and I used to use these lots down in southern Ontario they're pretty uh, you know used quite a bit and the most of them that we used you know when I was showing how were your standard one you know one door on each end and uh, you know you'd get some rats in there you get a couple rats in there that cram themselves up into the top of the trap and then the doors wouldn't open anymore so I started fiddling around with it back then and this was when I was considerably, like I said, younger and and I had time to do all that. So anyways, like, so you see it's all flat. Now it opens up like so. You've got two doors on each end on this. Here you've got a, a little wall divider right there. Okay. On the other end, you've got the same thing, a wall divider. And I'm going to put this up here and then and two doors. But now the other thing that's different is in the middle. And I'm going to push it down here and you probably won't be able to see, really see until I get it all locked into place. Okay, you've got a divider in the very middle of it. Now you can see here, you see that wall that goes down the middle here? What happens with this one now is the rats come in this door and instead of jamming up either in here or in that door, I mean they can still jam up into here, but generally what they're going to do 
is they're going to come down into this here V and jam in there. Okay, so now you've got this door. So even if they do come and jam up into here, you know, so they block that door off. You've still got this door over here that opens up. You see what I mean? This one opens up, then this one opens up. Same thing on the other side. You got this one opens up, this one opens up. Now these here, walls, they just need to be attached, solid. And all I do is on each of the little side walls, two of the smallest, these are four inch long snap ties. Okay. You do two on this wall, and this will tighten this thing up really good so it doesn't move around at all. And like I said, I made this one 13 by 8. You can make these any size you want. 13 by 8 gave me a 6 and a 5 inch door because you gotta you gotta leave a half an inch on each side or else your your cage doors just get caught if they're right exactly tight so a half an inch is not a big deal there's no rats gonna push his way out of that the other thing I might mention too is this wall in the center you might not want to have that if you think you might be getting otters coming into these things because this door here, six inch door, is plenty big enough for an otter to get in, okay? And, but being that long as they are, you might still get them, they might curl around, but he might just back himself out of there once he hits his nose face onto this wall here. But, like I said, that's neither here nor there, it's not an otter trap, it's a, it's a muskrat trap that you could catch otters in, I would imagine. Um, don't forget where I trapped with these all the time in southern Ontario. I didn't have otters. I never caught one. I was trapping down in the city lights close to towns where there was, I wasn't in the wilderness where there was a ton of otters running around. And so then now on here, you want to do the same thing. You just want to get a couple of snap ties holding this closed and then like I said when you want to go in and take it out and fold it down flat all you do is cut those snap ties and you're good to go There's no rat going to push that out of there and here you go, then now you go. you've got your four door submarine colony trap, whatever you want to call it. And you've got plenty of space for if you've got tons of rats. And like I said, up here where I am right now, I will never have to, or I shouldn't say never, you never say never, but I won't generally have to worry about having so many rats packed in there that I, you know, I can't fit another one in. But, you know, I, I do remember down in southern Ontario, I think the most I ever caught was 17 rats in one of these things. You, 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 you couldn't stuff another rat in there. Um, and that's another reason why I use the 36 inch. It's, it's just better. 36 inch screen is better for the... Um, funnels like the round ones and since that's what I have I know a lot of guys make these things smaller so they're more compact you make them under the 20 inch 24 inch screen um, you can use 30 inch screen 36 and it comes in 48 inches too so you know you've got a lot of options to use and this one I will go put out tomorrow what I'm going to do here is Put one of my big snap ties on here for a carrier. Of course. 
they make a pretty good handle too, so just something to carry it with. All right, so that's trap, submarine trap number two. And then the next one I make, I'll do the, uh, the funnel one. And uh, then we gotta start using our, our math from school, like figuring out your, your funnel. You know, two pi r, you know, pi r squared. Well, pi r squared is the area of a circle, but like the old saying, pi r squared. Uh, no, pies are round, cakes are square, stupid. Anyhow, that's neither here nor there. Oh, I'm going to head into, into town. And oh, yeah, by the way, Winnipeg Jets made the playoffs. Go, Jets, go. My Leafs suck. So. We'll see you down the trail there. All right.